Hello, Veteran on 2 in here. Welcome back, and we are let's hating Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode, we went to a dance. Dance with some crazy dark-haired bitch. Then afterwards, we went on a date with Quistus and got our Mac on, so to speak. Actually, it was the, mo the most inept attempt at... Uh, wooing a freaking woman that I've ever seen in my life. But, you know what? That's the way Squall rolls, so we'll just roll with him. Hello, people. Well, what are you saying? I suppose it doesn't really matter. It's just idle fucking banter between these idiots. Yeah. Ugh. You wanna play- No, I don't wanna play cards with you. Yeah, not unless you carry some rare cards. But I don't think you do, so I'm gonna pass. So where are we supposed to go again? The, uh... Second floor or some shit? Oh, it's Zoo. Hello, Zoo. Oh, do you play cards? Oh, you're, you're not gonna play? Oh, alright. Well, at least she acknowledges the fact that she does play cards. She just needs to brush up a little bit. Yeah, I don't wanna play with you. God, you know, I don't remember which floor it's supposed to be. I'm thinking it's the third floor, but whatever. I can't remember. Oh, there's nobody... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think we were supposed to meet up here at all. Maybe we are supposed to meet by the front gate. I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention. All the words that come out of Selfie's mouth are blah blah blah, I'm a dirty whore. And there's Toll Booth Willie, I like playing cards with him. Because he was carrying a lot of those Elm Oil cards. And wow! Holy shit! Look at that get up Selfie's got. It's not much of a get up. Considering it... <laughs> wow, it's like a bathing suit or something. Wow, nice uh, nice hoverboard there, Zell. Did you get that from Back to the Future 2? T-boards, eh? Oops, sorry, I didn't know. What? No, I mean, di didn't you see Back to the Future 2? I mean, Marty McFly, I mean, he was awesome on that thing, man. Wow. These fucking garden steps are a bunch of assholes. Even I'll side with Zell on this subject. Wow, what a bunch of jerks. Yeah, that's right, Zell, you get mad at him. Okay, so we are to go to Timber. Timbo! We're gonna be supporting a resistance faction, hmm? Okay. The force of Timber sure have changed. At this time, you must reply, but the owls are still around. So apparently, we're supposed to remember that password. Remember this for later on. Because, honestly, it doesn't matter if you remember the fucking password or not. So why even give us a fucking password? But, yeah, that, that'll get that'll get shown later on. It's pretty stupid. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna do the mission for very little money. Yeah, we, um, yeah, we, why would we accept such an, a request? I mean, we, we need money. We're a money-making machine here. We don't work for cheap. Oh, okay. Oh man, you're pairing me up with these two? Come on, man. Ah, oh, shit. That sucks. 
And Sid is going to give us a cursed item. A magical lamp. Wow, so if we rub this magical lamp, are we going to get a, like a genie or something like that? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's fine. Well, I'm going to go outside and, uh... Well, I shouldn't have to junction any of my stuff, actually. I should be good to go. I think. But either way, I'm going to make sure I'm ready to go by uh, going outside and uh, saving my game. Because we were about to do something with the magic lamp. But we don't want to do it inside the garden because, you know, if it is a powerful genie, he, uh, he might he might be a huge genie. He might, you know, we don't want to we don't want to crush the poor guy, you know, because, you know, size constraints of the garden. So let's go out in a nice wide open area where we can save and do other stuff. All right. Set up my characters. Uh, I just junction them with their best shit. Um, yeah, there's really not much else to say other than that. Um, make sure you have a character with blind spells and the ability to cast the blind spell. And yeah, I gotta rearrange this crap. Anyway, let's go ahead and use this fucking magical lamp and see what happens. Holy shit, are you kidding me? What are we fighting? Holy shit, it's the devil! Why are we fighting the devil? Holy crap, where's the genie? Who dares to disturb my sleep? But anyways, yeah. We're fighting the devil. This guy likes to use a lot of gravity attacks. So, uh, he will put you in critical. What we want to do is we want to put blind on this guy. Because, uh, he can kill you with physical attacks. But if you were able to put blind on him, uh, you know, he won't be able to, um, hopefully hit you. Well, he still can hit you if he's blinded, but the chance is very low. But, obviously, to mim minimize that, you want to put blindness on this guy. And, yeah, this is the ability right here uh, called Grabajaw that reduces character's HP a lot, as you can see. Come on, Zell. Oh, he's going to do it again, huh? That sucks. Come on. This better work. Come on, it's bullcrap. Just fucking work already. Come on, quit missing! If he does a physical attack, I'm gonna have to revive somebody. Come on! These attacks animations take forever! Hurry the fuck up! You know what? Oh, that's bullshit. All because they couldn't fucking- No! That's fucking bullshit! You know what? Screw it! I don't care. Squall should be able to take this guy out with one limit break. Hopefully. Fuck blindness. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Is this enough to take him out? Hopefully it is. Too much deep, too weak. Yeah. Eat it, bitch. And yeah, our guardian forces still should get uh, the AP from this battle. 20 AP. Alright, very nice. Then we get the Diablos summon, but yeah, what you're supposed to do is get fucking blindness on him so he doesn't hit you with the physical attacks, but yeah, I couldn't get it to work there, so I just kicked his ass anyways, whatever. So, uh, anyways, now we have a new Guardian Force. This is a very nice Guardian Force. He has the Mug ability, which is, um, you know, you can attack and um, steal items from enemies, which is really good. Uh, I don't think I'll ever use the dark side command. That's pretty worthless. But he's got hit junction, which uh, is good for other characters uh, except for Squall because Squall already has 
255 percent hit percentage so yeah that ability is worthless for him so don't junction squall with this uh with this guardian force if you can give it to somebody else that could actually use this ability but yeah the first ability i want to learn is yeah i want time magic refinement that's probably the way to go in my opinion for starters because you can get some really good uh spells in that category so oh yeah and then encounter half this uh this guardian force has encounter half and encounter none once you learn encounter half you can learn encounter none as well and that's also a very very nice ability so yeah i'm gonna go back to uh balam garden training center and i'm gonna level up or at least ap up this gf and learn some more abilities and crap all right actually yeah before i uh go to the training center and screw around there and get ability points of crap. Uh, in the last boss fight against Diablos, I won the Diablos card, which I'll be using for Triple Triad. We're going to play someone in particular that has a rare card. And, uh, yeah, I might as well do that now, get it over with. Before I start off-screening collecting more freaking cards from... Uh, people in this region. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Sid. Uh, let's go ahead and play cards with him. Hopefully he plays the card I want right off the bat. And yeah, as long as the trade rule is diff and open, then we're good to go. So we got Quistus, Diablos, Ifrit. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good. Um... Maybe I should go with an Elastoid card. Yeah, that's actually better in my opinion. Okay, so the idiot doesn't want to play it, so I'll just off-screen until he does. Well, it took like 20 fucking games for this asshole to play the freaking card I wanted, but he... F okay, he's playing it. Yeah, the Cypher card. So, I have to go first, huh? What a jerk. Uh... Uh, he can get me with Behemoth card, or the Biggs and Wedge card if he does that, um... Yeah... I think I'm safe if I do this. Yeah, I'll do this. Alright. I'll start playing defensively, down here, you know. And, uh, shit. Yeah, I'll do this. And, fuck. Yeah. He's screwed. Wait, no, I can't do that either. Shit. So he can get me with Biggs and Wedge there, and fuck. This might end up being a draw. Shit. Yeah. Fuck, man. Damn it. Luckily I did a save state, because I really don't want to have to do this shit again. So... Shit, man. How do I bait and hook this guy? Yeah, I'll do this. Whatever. Oh, interesting. Okay, then. Uh, what if he's gonna do that? I got nothing to worry about if I. Well, I got nothing to worry about anyways. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but best defensive option is probably this. For starters, or nah. No, I'll just do this. this damn it oh wow, this game right here is tough
Wow. Fuck. Alright, this is bullshit. I'm not liking this shit, man. I'm not liking it. It's a load of poopy. I'm gonna win this fucking card. Um... Whatever, we'll do that next. Yeah... Bait him out a little bit. God, he can still take that back, bro. No matter which side I fucking do it on, he can still take it back. Oh, uh, if it weren't for that stupid Biggs and Wedge card. Uh... Eh, fuck it. gonna end up being a draw, isn't it? God damn. Again? This sucks! Thank God for save states. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Well, you know what? I'm gonna block this asshole. I'm gonna fucking put a card up here. So he can't do shit. Man, I gotta, I gotta do something different here. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, that'll work. And... Fuck, man. The fuck ever. God, he can still take... God, he can still take it back! Oh, how fucking annoying... Well, he can't take this one back. Yeah, he just fucked himself. Oh, but he can take my Quistus card, though. Oh, but then I'll be able to take his Behemoth with the Elastoid. Alright. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna win. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, it took me a few tries, but we get the Cypher card, and I guess I'll take a Behemoth card, too. Yeah, we get a brand new rare card. What can this one refine into? Well, I'm probably not gonna refine it right away anyways, unless it's gonna be something really good, but... Uh... Car... Wait, no, no, I want ability. Ability card mod. Three diamond armors. I can't remember what those do. Alright, I know what diamond armors do now. They, uh, a diamond armor will teach a guardian force to HP plus 40% ability, which is useless in this game. Why? Because your HP can't go higher than quadruple nines anyways, and you can get spells that can get you that high without that ability. So that ability in this game is absolutely, positively, and utterly freaking worthless. So I won't be refining the Cypher card, but I will be using it for Triple Triad. But, uh, yeah. Don't even bother trying to card mod Cypher unless you, for some reason, want to have more HP now at this point in the game because we don't really have that many spells yet that uh, raise HP well. I mean, the best spell I have right now that can raise HP is Tornado. Um, but I don't need that high HP anyway, so I'm not going to use it. Alright, another thing I need to mention is uh, in our room here, if we... Uh, examine our desk. We can get Weapons Monthly April Issue. Yay! And as far as these fucking magazines are concerned, uh, yeah, look at the March I issue and yeah, it tells you the ingredients for the weapon that you initially get equipped with, so I don't see the purpose in this. I don't understand why they even bother uh, showing you. But yeah, they show you uh, the items you need to remodel into uh, new weapons and crap, even though this first one is pretty worthless. This sheer trigger is uh, the next one. I'm not even going to bother. I'm probably just going to go straight to the to the ultimate weapon. And I will be getting it on disc one for Squall. Uh, the other characters, I probably won't even bother with their weapons. I don't know. I, I, I still might. But, um... Yeah, pretty much the only character I know of for sure that I'm going to get his ultimate weapon is Squall. The other characters don't matter because all the ultimate weapons or better weapons do is uh, determine the limit breaks that you get. So the, the, the damage isn't isn't even factored in. It's, it's so negligible it doesn't even matter. But anyways, uh, another thing I did off screen was uh, I was fighting those 
see Rex Sowers in the training center, and uh, you can get Dino Bones from them if you, I think if you card mod the, uh, the T-Rex Sour, I think. Yeah, yeah, you can, uh, you can refine two of those into a Dino Bone, but more importantly, if you do the uh, time-space magic refinement, if you go over to Dino Bones, you can refine one of these into 20 quakes, so I did that for three of my characters, so they got 100, and I junctioned that to my HP, and as you can see, my HP is much, much higher than it was, um, because, yeah, I have been, uh, learning abilities with my GFs, got the encounter half and none abilities, so that, those should be really nice, and, ooh, I got a scent ability, don't I? Um, yeah, mug. Mug takes priority next, and yeah, dark side is kind of like uh, Rusty's uh, dark side ability in Final Fantasy IX, I believe, right? Where you use HP to deal more damage. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. I might. Um, but yeah, whatever. And then uh, S Siren, yeah, once once we get magic plus 40%, we'll be able to learn magic bonus. But I don't care because I won't be leveling up in this game anyways. Those these these abilities like strength bonus, magic bonus, and all that shit are are worthless in my opinion. Because unless you plan on leveling up your characters really high, it's really not worth it. And even then, you don't need to because it just doesn't matter. <laughs> you can there's other ways. I, if you're leveling up, the enemies are too, and their HP goes up a lot higher than yours exponentially per level. So, the amount of strength bonus you're getting per level up doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? You're better off just not leveling up and just using the junction system to uh, make your characters uber powerful at low levels and then taking enemies out that way. It's much easier. So, I won't be leveling up in this game. Let me keep my characters around. I mean, if I get up to level 20 by the end of the game, I'll be surprised, but... Yeah, I, I might not even get that high. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, you know what? It's a good time to end the episode. Uh, pretty much done everything I need to do here in Balam Garden. I did learn the Mug ability with uh, Diablos. Did switch my Guardian Forces around a little bit. Gave Zell, uh, Ass, Pickle, and Shiva, because between those, uh, he's got all those junctions available to his stats. So, figured that'd be good for him. And you know what? Uh, let's see, which one should I give it to? I don't think it really matters, to be quite honest. I'll just give it to Ass Pickle. But yeah, strength plus 60% on Zell here will um, will uh, help out. Uh, yeah, that and then uh, magic, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I can do vitality. Actually, vitality doesn't matter. My HP is so high right now, it doesn't even matter. But, um, yeah, I want Squall and Zell's strength to be as high as it can go, which, uh, is very, very doable with the Tornado spell. Quick spell makes it, uh, pretty high as well, except, um, well, Tornado's just better, anyways. And I'd much rather have Quake on HP because it's a good trade-off. But, uh, either way, that's all for this episode of Let's Hate Final Fantasy VIII. In the next episode, we're gonna go back to... Uh, the city of Balam, and, uh, I don't know, we're gonna do something there. We're gonna either travel, play some more cards with somebody that might have a rare card, or do some other bullshit, uh, before we, uh, get going on our way. So there you go, this is Veteran0121, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.